are you too? So we're starting a new art project and it's going to tie in with your new IPC unit, the Magic Toy Maker. And what we're going to be making is a little toy shop. Now, if you're in class face to face, you may have noticed a lot of children are getting their lunches in these cardboard containers. So we're gonna be using these uh, to make our toy shop. Now, if you're virtual, no problem. You can just use a cereal packet, a shoe box, anything really that uh, we can manipulate and turn into like a little mini toy shop. So it's just a box with an opening at the front, okay? Now, don't worry too much about this. We're gonna come back to this in the next lesson. This is just something to have in future. But for now, all you need is a strip of paper, okay? This one is roughly... Oh, about six centimetres by oh, around about 30 centimetres. Okay, this is going to be a, a collection of toys because what's going to happen is we're going to draw and colour and cut out a selection of toys and then inside our cardboard boxes, we're going to be making some shelves to go in the toy shop window. So you're going to need some paper that's a little bit thicker than printer paper something that when we fold it it's going to kind of be sturdy enough to make a shelf so if i quickly demonstrate now roughly what the shelf would look like i'll fold along here and then i've got to make sure this shelf is going to fit exactly inside my box so i fold again here and I'm not going to glue it in now, but it's just to give you an idea. Eventually, let's just put this in here. We'll put glue here and here, where my thumbs are. We'll glue those bits. And then the shelf gets glued inside. Uh, hopefully, it'll get glued in nice and accurately. Okay, so the shelf gets glued inside. And then on the shelf, we stick our 2D toys that we're going to make. So. That's giving you an idea of future lessons, but for this lesson, we're literally just making the toys for the shelf. So I've got my strip of paper. Now I'm actually going to do a little line about a centimetre and a half um, up from the bottom. The reason I'm making this little line is because I'm going to fold a tab underneath each toy that's going to help it sit up on the shelf. This will make more sense when you, when you see me do an example. So I'm going to just start off with a teddy bear. So an old fashioned toy shop's not gonna have computer games and electronics. It's going to have more traditional materials like wood or tin or uh, fabric. So I'm going to start off with a teddy bear. So hopefully when you do yours, you can have a teddy bear that you can look at or you can Google an image of a teddy bear uh, that will help you. So whenever I do a teddy bear, it's always just a sequence of circles, really. So I've got ears, face, and this part's kind of like the snout of the bear. And then let's give him a little smiley face. And then his legs, because he's sitting down, I'm going to just be able to see the bottom of his feet. So some more, well, they're more like ovals. So I've got some oval shapes here. And then I'm going to go back like this. And then he's going to have his little arms here. Okay. And then... So there's my teddy. Let's give him some eyes. Okay. So before I cut him out, I am actually going to colour him in. Okay. Now, I'm going to use felt tip pens because uh, they're going to stand out more in my toy shop. I could colour them in with colouring pencil, so there's no problem if you want to use colouring pencil, but I'm going to use felt tip pens. Okay, so let's put in... Okay, and then I'm going to use a different shade of brown colouring inside the bear. Okay. And then I'm going to do a light brown.
Now you don't have to keep changing your shades. I'm just changing mine uh, because I've got a selection of colors. Okay. And then let's do. Okay, and then once I've got that done, I'm actually going to just go over the details with a Sharpie. And don't worry too much if you go outside the lines because this is going to get cut out eventually. I'm just adding in a few little details with my Sharpie to make him look a bit fluffier. Okay. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll make a whole row of different kinds of toys and I'll, I'll do some more other examples but I just want to show you this one first to get you started. Now, underneath this, this little area of paper that we've left here, we need this, I'm going to just draw a little flap, we need this to stick him onto the shelf. So watch what I do when I cut this out. Now this is important. I'm leaving this little patch underneath him, okay? Also, when you're cutting something fiddly, you don't have to go right up to the edge. You can leave what I call a bit of a bubble around him because I know it's tricky to cut out. So if you leave a bit of a bubble, uh, you won't accidentally chop off an arm or an ear. So try not to cut maybe so close to the teddy bear that you end up accidentally chopping bits off. Okay, and then this is the bit, don't forget, I'm not cutting underneath him. I'm leaving this, what I'm calling a glue tab. This is gonna be my glue tab here. So let's go back to, let's go back to the shelf. So here's my shelf that will eventually go in my toy shop. And what I'm going to do is with my bear, I'm just gonna fold the tab. Okay, so can you see I've got a glue tab now? and I'm going to glue him onto the toy shop shelf. Now I'm not gonna glue him at the back. I'm gonna glue him either in the middle or near the front because if we glue him too near the back, we won't be able to see him very well. So I'm going to glue my teddy bear near the front of my shelf. So I've got some glue on the tab, fold it back. Let's put him here, press him down and then if I bring my cardboard back over, you can see, just for my example, let's pop him in here, that eventually we're going to have lots of different toys all along the shelf. Okay, so this is what we're going to be working on over the next several weeks. We will be making a background for the shop. We will be decorating the front of the shop. We'll be adding lots of little details, but step one is to make your toys that go on the first shelf. And eventually I want to make, I'm gonna say, oh, maybe two shelves. So two shelves full of old fashioned toys for our old fashioned toy shop. All right, well done you two.